What are some of your impressions of uh, Jordan Jefferson? Had a chance to meet with Jordan the other day, had a chance to meet with all the quarterbacks, and when, as the week unfolds, we'll meet more in depth, but just a very uh, engaging personality. I think he's a guy that is excited about his senior year coming up. It's a big year for him, you know, not only from a standpoint of continuing his career here at LSU, but obviously putting himself in a position to showcase himself to play on Sundays. And uh, that's one of the things that uh, I know he's excited about getting to work and getting going and coming off a huge game. I thought he played extremely well in the Texas A&M game in the Cotton Bowl. And so that's a, a good platform for him to springboard off of going into spring practice. Can you tell anything about his abilities by, by having watched him on He's got a lot of ability. You know, I, again, the first thing I looked at when I'm watching that game the other night on Friday night is his ability to keep plays alive and to make plays with his feet. There were huge plays in the game. I think a third and nine situation, a third and 19 situation that were critical points in the game when the game was really in the balance there in the first and and early part of the second half that he made a lot of plays with his feet and, uh, and got first downs that kept drives alive. And that's, that's one of the things we always talk about with our quarterbacks is keep the drive alive, get another set of downs or first set of sticks and, and put yourself in a position to, to keep that drive going. And he did a super job of that. The other thing that impressed me in that game is I thought he did an excellent job of throwing the ball deep down the field, which is something we want to do. One of the bases of our offense is obviously we're going to be strong running the football. Uh, Les has always done a great job of that wherever he's been. We did that a lot when I was at Texas A&M, and that's one of the places where my path and Les's path crossed. Uh, but we want to be a strong, powerful running football team that has the ability to be a quick strike passing team also. And I thought Jordan did a nice job of that in that game. Let's talk about bringing you in for your ability to develop quarterbacks. And just talk about your procedures and what you like to do, build them down, break them down, build them up, those kind of things. Or just what maybe your sure. strategies are. Well, I think one of the things that, that I've always taken, and I've been around a lot of great quarterbacks in my career as, as a coach, uh, some as a player, and then obviously growing up around the BYU system when my dad was coaching there, guys like Jim McMahon and Mark Wilson. And Steve Young actually came in there right at the end of my dad's tenure, year, tenure there. But I heard Steve say one time in an interview that all you had to do was film him from his hips down, and he could tell you what kind of game he played. So to me, coaching the quarterback is about two things. You play with your feet and you play with your head. You got to be able to make quick decisions with your head, put the ball where it's supposed to be put, get the ball in the playmaker's hands. And then the other thing is you've got to be able to make and manufacture some offense. That's a Dan Henning term. I worked for Dan Henning at Boston College and, and learned a lot about coaching the quarterback from Dan. Uh, but he, you know, I think one of the things that has happened, particularly in this conference in the SEC, the defensive linemen are such good players. And now you're seeing the multiplicity of defensive schemes with all the zone blitzes. That, you know, it's, it's not going to be a perfect scenario back there every Saturday night. You're going to have to make some manufacturing and plays with your feet. So we talk a lot about footwork, putting yourself in a position to deliver the ball fundamentally, and then obviously putting yourself in a position to put it in the guy's hands at where it's supposed to go. So to play two quarterbacks, if it's an advantage, are mm -hmm. you similar in that nature? Or would you prefer to I've done it before, yeah. I did it when I was at Texas A&M as the offensive coordinator. We had uh, Brandon Stewart and Randy McCowan, and both played both those guys. And then at Louisville, I actually played three quarterbacks my last year two uh, that we had kind of gone back and forth with, and then one out of necessity. We ended up starting our third team quarterback at West Virginia because our two other guys were hurt. So uh, I'm not opposed to that at all. I think if they bring different dimensions to the game or they're good enough that you can do that, um, put them into the game, we're going to do that. And you know, I, I think there are enough practice repetitions where you can get that done. You do have to be careful. I think that you're, you're getting both of those guys prepared and ready to play each week. And uh, sometimes that's a challenge, you know, particularly this year. Uh, we'll have some short weeks where we're going to have to do that. But uh, I'm, not, I'm certainly not opposed to that. You talked about Zach and Jordan a little bit. Coming in new, having the whole spring, does that really open things up for every guy competing for that starting job? Well, absolutely. And we didn't talk about Jared yet. I mean, he's a very good player, too, and he's a proven commodity here. So, you know, all, all jobs are open in terms of the way I look at it offensively. And I think that's the way that all the players want it. I know if, if you're the quarterback, you certainly want the best left tackle and certainly want the best tight end in there. And I know from a, from a standpoint of, of just putting a team together, when you step in there as a player with those 11, 10 other guys being the 11th player, every one of those guys in that huddle, you want them to be the best possible player to help us be successful on offense, defense and special teams. So, um, yeah, I don't think there's any question that we've got a good group of quarterbacks and all jobs are open. Uh, we do have an incumbent or incumbents because both of those guys have played. But you know the best players are going to play. I tell people all the time, you know, if you want seniority, you join the army. If you want to uh, want to play with the best players, come to LSU.